Mount Washington Regional Airport, Whitefield, New Hampshire. Automated weather observation, 1539er, Zulu. Wind variable at 03. Visibility, 10. Sky condition, clear. Temperature, 23 Celsius. Dew point, 13 Celsius. Altimeter, 29er, 89er. Remarks, density altitude, 2,400. Mount Washington Regional Airport, Whitefield, New Hampshire. All right. So we got Boston Center up. We got the CTAF back on. We're going to turn around so we can see this guy. Mount Washington traffic, cap 2826, back taxi on 10, Mount Washington. Mount Washington traffic, twin Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie. It's going to taxi for runway 28 departure. We'll stop at the midfield Charlie to let the cap plane pass by. Mount Washington traffic, twin Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie is back taxi and runway 28, Mount Washington. Well, guys, New Hampshire is beautiful. Yep. That's for show. The winds are pretty variable. They're slightly favored. Clear 28 Mount Washington. 28. But the other thing is there's less rising terrain, and it's pretty much straight out as on course for us, and the runway is downhill a bit. So based on all those reasons, we're going back taxi. Poor Mountain Washington, bought it up again. I have a feeling this is an everyday thing for them. Yeah. Well, we're gonna get down here, do the quick run up, and then we'll be back for the VFR departure, picking our IFR up in the air. Don't see anybody, we haven't heard anybody. Mount Washington traffic, twin Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie's departing runway 28 to the west, Mount Washington. Nice runway, nice airport. Yeah. All right, fuel pumps are on low, fuel's on the mains, mixtures to go. Brakes are set. Model's coming up to 1700. There's a ridge. Throttle on up, throttle on up. Everything's looking good, release the brakes. Full power set, engine instruments are all on the green. Deal flows look good. Airspeed's alive. 60, 70, 80, 90. Rotate. Tap the brakes, you're coming up. I'm out of blue line. Got oh, dampers coming on. Here, stowed. Boston Center, Twin Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie. And, uh, what's the call sign? 771 Bravo, Charlie Twin Cessna, about four miles uh, west of the Mount Washington Regional Airport, climbing out of 2,800, looking to pick up our IFR to Niagara Falls. And by 771 Bravo, Charlie, Squawk uh, 3437. 3437, Bravo, Charlie. Bravo Charlie, radar contact, uh, 10 west of uh, Mount Washington there, 5,000 feet. Put in a Niagara via as file, maintain 8,000, Burlington ultimate 2987. 771 Bravo Charlie is cleared to Niagara as file, we'll climb at 8,000. Exact jet 309, descend to maintain 7,000, Burlington ultimate 2987. 
Gotcha. Yeah, we're going to be getting that three zero nine. Gotcha. That's why I didn't go direct. Uh, no, I'm sure less, I'm estimating top about 26 28. Okay, 52, thanks. Just send a unit to uh, 5,000. Burlington altimeter is 2987. 2987, stretch 5,000. Zedra 309, cross MECD at above 6,500 cleared. Uh, RNAV Zulu 19 approach to Morrisville. So. Just look how much better okay, it looks cross, that way. Uh, Metzi at or above 6,500 cleared for the RNAV Zulu 19. Altitude, 200 to go. Yeah. Uh, center service, 170, Julia with you, 4,500. Like if we went via Albany. 170, I got Julia Boston Center, Roger Brown, 10, 10, 2987. 87. Really wouldn't add that much to the We're flight. 3784, descend to maintain 11,000, Brown, 10, 10, 2987. Yeah, because that stuff's all going to be above us. Wisconsin 3784. Wisconsin 3784. Oh, 2,000, I'm free to grade, I through 16 for me for traffic. Whatever you think, baby. 2,000 feet or greater through 16, Wisconsin. 3784. Center for one, Bravo, Altitude. Charlie. Can we go direct to uh, Albany, then direct Niagara? 771, Bravo, Charlie. Uh, no problem, clear to Albany, direct Niagara. One, Bravo, Charlie, we'll go. Thank you, sir. No problem. Gets us a wider berth. Gives us some time to think about it, but that stuff's well above us. Just gives us a little more time. The Albany weather is broken at 32, broken at 85. So we could probably find a layer in between, you know, a level in between the clouds. Broken at 32, broken at 85. Down. So somewhere between 6 and 8, we could probably find a level between layers. Yeah. All right. Here we go, guys. My beautiful bride. And the office view over central eastern Vermont. We just crossed through. So far, it's been pretty much a few clouds down low. You can almost see that presidential range behind us. But ahead, there's definitely IMC flying ahead. There's no doubt about it. We'll just try to find the smooth area and figure it out. We got this weather off to the right. I was just yeah, giving it a nice clear avoidance because it's developing and growing throughout the day as we come up on that cold front. We'll take 862 contact. I'll request a direct Albany just to kind of give us a little bit of a wider berth. So, Vermont, Mount Washington area, beautiful. Mount Washington Airport was great. Well, we weren't in Vermont. But. I'm sorry. New Hampshire, Mount Washington Airport, was wonderful. Yeah. The lady at the airport was great. They got relatively cheap gas for the area. All around. Easy in and out. No Uber, guys. No Uber. Uber. No Uber. No Uber. No Uber. There's attacks. Unfortunately, no. Yeah. Taxi service, I think. Boston, Echo, Julia, contact Brown, approach 121.1. Oh, they'll drop off the back tickets to the train to do the uh, Cog Railway thing, which was cool. And came back, picked us up, and showed us some cool little spots. That railway thing was awesome. Yeah, that was really neat. I did not, it did not occur to me until I was on the train that it was going to be so scary. <laughs> So scary. His little like trolley train takes you up the side of this mountain, up to the top of Mount Washington. It's about six thousand feet. Uh-huh. You're going like November kilos right down. What did they say? It's like thirty eight degrees. Thank you. Yeah. It's and, almost a forty degree yeah, slope. And it, there's like a thousand foot cliff off the side and everything's real tight and it goes real slow. I mean, it would be, like, I would say scary, like, you wouldn't bring little kids. Like, I think if you have, like, little kids who are, like, uh -huh. into Thomas and trains, like, Eli used to be way a long time ago, but, like, they would dig it. <clears throat> they would 
and uh, really think of the reasons why it's scary. Uh, 45, so if we, like if something happened, you go barreling down that mountain, there would be no survivors. But they've been doing it successfully since 1866, yeah, uh, so I, I think they, they got it figured out. Yeah. Yeah. But they, uh, yeah, there, yeah. yeah, we're on the, this train. There's not very big, it's like 14 rows on there, and they were like, yeah, the people on the front of the train are 14 feet higher than the people in the back of the train. You could stand uh, like stand like super sideways like this, but you're really standing like straight up. It was such crazy. a strange feeling. Yeah. So you get up to the Train top, and we we're just inside of a cloud. Uh, Center one three five point six. Like just sitting in a cloud one up at the top of this mountain. They have this Bye -bye. list of names of all the people who have died trying to hike up this mountain. It was kind of, kind of a big list. It's like oh my gosh. Yeah. But you can't you can hike up there and then. If you don't want to hike back down, you can take the train back down, which is... It was cold up there. It was, it was... It was like 30, 30 something degrees, degrees cooler. colder than it was at the base of the Which mountain. is crazy. They said the hottest record ever, ever recorded up there that was, was 74. Yeah. Like, hey. Isn't that nuts for just a 6,000 foot mountain? And they yeah. also have the record wind speed for the northern hemisphere. And it was for the world up until oh, some yeah. typhoon in Australia. Two hundred thirty miles per hour, or whatever, recorded up that there. That is nuts. Yeah. And then this hotel that we stayed at was insane. I'm sure we have some footage of it. It's just massive and like old and fancy. It was. Yeah. That was called Mount Washington Omni, Resort. Omni Mount Washington Resort, yeah. Yeah. There's some interesting things about that place. It's beautiful. The scenery is amazing. I bet the golf there is fabulous. Yeah. It is. It is pricey. It's a little overpriced, probably. You're paying well, for across the street. There's like uh, New Hampshire's largest ski area, so yeah. You got that too. But it's really hard. <clears throat> you have to make reservations to eat there, which is really strange because you can't. I don't eat know how much else. of that was like COVID related because yeah. they have to seat you like. Uh, they sure. can only use half of their tables really right now. Yeah. It was beautiful. Boston, we had a good time for our short little stay. Block to zero to two zero. He showed us the cab driver stopped off on the side of the road up uh, on the way up to the Cog Railway, and there was this like swimming hole where people were jumping in. Like click like off these rock cliffs, and there was different. There was like the low dive, the medium dive, and the high dive. And you look down, and it's like this crystal clear water. There was all these like, you know, like probably locals who were like teenager types yeah. jump jumping in there. It was like, crazy. Yeah. So beautiful. Very cool. I wanted to do it. I would need a More probably time. a little bit of liquid courage. To, uh -huh. <laughs> I, I, I would totally do it. So if you guys are looking for a little mountainous getaway, uh, we could definitely recommend that. All we need is oxygen. If we had a two-place oxygen, we'd have just busted up to 12 and gone over all this stuff. Gone direct, not okay. worrying about it. You don't need oxygen at 12. I just like it. Ten would put us right in it. We could go, like, you just get, take the oxygen. We'll go up. I'll take a little nap. Yeah. I'll wake up when we get down back below the tank. Like, oh, are we here? November 792, Juliet Hotel, contact Brown to approach 121.1. This guy has a box. Ah, man, I want a real thick one. I want a huge pocket cat in the hobby yet. <laughs> Well, we'll have to get Matt Damon for that. Come on, 40, 56, I'm going to out to the center. Wasn't that Matt Damon? 3,000. Yeah. One, 3,000, not 40, 56. You Matt like apples? Damon. Oh, you like them apples. <laughs> really, just to add five minutes to your flight to not be in IMC for extended periods of time can, with storms growing. So. I know, but you see, you see the cumulus, we'd be dodging. Oh, yeah. We'd be going left, oh. right, left, right. I dig it, I dig it. This right here allowed us not to do any of that. I'm gonna fly over the Capitol, babe. The Capitol. 
Oh, of New York? Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm hopeful that we're not actually going to do that. I thought we'd get around the hook this corner here. And then, uh... No, over 9662, Quebec, red eye contact is lost. Go I'm right. take it back Although up, the line between there. Albany and Niagara has got stuff growing on it, I'm probably going to ask for RKA. Yeah. Which is Rockdale, VOR. That'll be the next request. Well, babe, and Niagara Falls right now, it's a few clouds at 3,900, temperature 75. With the winds 270 at 8. So I had to take some pictures. I was studying this while you were sleeping or getting ready or something this morning. Nonsense. But this is how you fly over Niagara. We set frequency 122.05. Are you intending to do that today? I don't know. The weather looks nice. We probably should do one lap around. I don't think we're going to make it onto the maid of the mist, but that's okay. What did you just say? The maid of the mist, the, you know, the boat into the Oh, falls. what time does that stop? They run uh, until 5, I think. Anyway, it's 130 knots at 3,500 feet. And you just do a, a little... Pattern. It's only five miles away from the airport. It would take five minutes, but you have to put your gear down to do 130. No. Oh. I think I see that little guy right there. That one. Big ones. That. One. Yeah. Do you see how track up helps with that? Is you're just like. Tick, tick. Ah, dude. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a radar control. This is what. It, at three o'clock. At two o'clock. I'm gonna ask for another amendment. I don't want to do this I'm from Albany. We'll be in Albany in 20 minutes. Yeah. I want to go to Rockdale. Boston, Maine, uh, Albany, Maine, Rockdale, Maine. direct. Boston 1, Bravo, Charlie, I have another route request. Uh, can we get Albany, direct Rockdale, Romeo, Kilo, Alpha, then direct destination? 717, Bravo, Charlie, clear direct Albany, direct Rockdale, direct Niagara. Thank you, sir. No problem. So accommodating. So we go from Albany. 717 Echo Papa, contact Boston, cutter 12, uh, RKA. 135.25. Enter. And then it paints the route. Contact Make Boston, sure that's what we wanted. It is what we wanted. So then you can go back to your map. 717 Bravo Charlie, contact uh, Albany, approach 132.82. 3282, 1 Bravo Charlie, see him. Albany approach, twin sets at 771 Bravo Charlie, is that 8000? Okay. Oh, Bravo Charlie, Albany approach, good morning, or good afternoon, finally, I'll submit her 2989. 2989, one BC. Now look at it. it. Steers us nice and clear of that crap, you know? Keeps That's us perfect. between. So, just navigating our way through the cold front here. We came up to 9 for just a little bit. Then, Bobbing and weaving these cells, getting them visual, changing our routes. Air traffic has been outstanding. They've been giving us everything we need. It's the last two little buildup, cumulus buildups that we're going to fly through. And then we should be smooth sailing direct Niagara with about 50 minutes left in our flight. That's the plan.